Oh my goodness. Dang. Ah. No. Dang. Maybe Brushy is the real deal. That was the very, very first cast. Man, that's pretty sweet. Little kick bass. Dang. He is not happy. Chasing it like crazy. Ooh, that looked like a good strike. All right, well now that we're far enough from the dam, you can probably somewhat hear me, but I, uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say that I have never fished Brushy Creek before. So I decided to change that today and headed up to Round Rock. Finally checked out, uh, Living Waters, which is an amazing shop if y'all haven't been there. It's uh, top tier for sure. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm almost embarrassed to say that I've never fished here before, so. We're gonna come check it out. I decided to throw my uh, fiberglass five weight. I'm starting off with a just pretty generic umqua little white popper. There's a reason people love this place so much. I got a nice little creek bass first cast, so hopefully we'll keep that up. I'm honestly not here quite at the ideal time of day. It is like basically midday. Man, there's some fast water. This is cool. Wondering if I should go subsurface. I kind of just wanted to get a feel for if they were gonna chase this popper or not. Which they kind of are, but with some of that faster water down there, I think I'm gonna put something different on. Although I may work some of the slow stuff with the lilies with a popper. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Sweet. swiping at it oh they're swiping at it really hard oh there we go that's a pretty good Pretty good fish. Oh, there he goes. All right, I switched over to subsurface. Basically just a little gray brown leech pattern oh rios man 
I'm already seeing tons of Rios. Yeah, shoot. I feel like quite a few people are really interested in coming to target Rios and shoot, it's, I would honestly suggest go by uh, Living Waters and come fish this because uh, I'm already seeing a bunch. Yeehaw. We're ripping down the rapids. I might be coming to an end of a road over here. Brushy looks like she widens out pretty good. I don't know how deep it is. Yeah, this bass don't want this game changer. Ooh. Damn. Bass just came and hit it, but I guess it was more of a defensive thing or something. Yeah. Yeah, they're just coming right up to it, watching it swim by. Hmm. What does that mean for us? I mean, I guess I could potentially get a... There's like five people fishing the bank here. I might be able to sneak a couple casts over that way, but after that, I gotta head back and see what else I can fish. All right, it looks like I've got room for a few more casts in this hole before I start making my way back and trying to find something else. I don't have a boat and there's just tons of people. I'm not even gonna attempt to wade this deeper section. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was probably a guad too. Oh, those are carp. Oh my goodness. Okay. Those are actually carp coming up there. Or that was. Need something smaller. Ooh. There, definitely. Ooh. Stuff smacking it, but. Ooh. Ooh. Need to put on a dry fly or something. about every cast there oh Ooh, that was a good fish dang it there we go oh, really pretty Really yellow. Tell you what, it's not super easy to wait here. Uh, at least this section. Oh, sorry. How's it going? I didn't see you. I didn't see you, sorry. I think I'm gonna move on the other side of this gentleman. So I'm at this park and I'm, it's 
kind of a dammed up section, but really kind of curious if maybe there's some carp mudding around because this is kind of a nice little flat. I wonder, I'm, I'm sure they come up on here and dig around. That looks like there's a mud way out there actually. Some bubbles coming up, yep. That's a carp probably. That'd be super cool if I could figure out how to get a shot at one. I think if I just walk this bank, I might see something. I see a uh, big old turtle making some bubbles. No carp just yet. Some good sunfish there. Oh my gosh, if I lived up here, I think I would be, I'd be out here quite a bit, I think. This is a cool little flat. That looks like something right there. Oh my God, that's a monster carp. Oof. He may give me a shot. It's gonna be really tough. Monster. Come on closer up in here, buddy. This is gonna be a tough shot. Fuck, not even close. It is a giant. I wonder. Ah, oh, there's like nowhere to go. And the light, come back out, son. Where you at, buddy? Come back out, son, please. Oh my God, that's him. Where are you at, buddy? Come back out, son. My God, this light is just not cooperating at all. I see him and then I lose him. Where did you go, dude? There are so many carp working around right now. I was not expecting to come up to something like this. This is really cool. Oh, here we go. No? <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god, he ran straight away from that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, fly change. Oh my god, there's more coming in now. They're all over the place. Wow, this is a, uh, this is intense. Come on, buddy, go over there. Yeah, I think I need, I think I need something different. No? Man, that looks 
looks like they're eating too, which is even crazier. Okay, we're going fly change here. I'm getting a ton of shots. This is really cool. Fly change. Alright, we're going with the uh, tried and true scarp in. I actually had on like more of a crop pattern. Oh my god, they're just right here. Come on. It is like carp central. One of them's gotta eat, right? Man, these are, they must get fished pretty hard because they don't want absolutely anything to do with my fly. Got one creeping in right here. And the craziest thing is they are they are digging around like they're eating and happy but No, just went right on by it. Dang, that was actually a pretty dang good shot. I thought he was, I thought he was swimming over to it for sure. Dang, these carp are tough. I mean, they always are, but these guys are not having it. I put a couple of what I think pretty good shots on them. Oop. These carp are like super active right now. There's just mud clouds absolutely everywhere. And they might be able to see me pretty good, I don't know, because they are not having it. And they are just like running away from it second it hits the water. These are some spooky ass carp. Oh my god, yeah, they're seeing me up here pretty good, that guy. Before I even got my cast off, bolted out of there. Yeah, these guys see me really well. Normally I kind of like high ground, high ground. I feel like they don't see me as well, but if nothing else happens, thanks again for watching. Go check out the uh, Living Waters and come fish some Brushy Creek. There's all sorts of cool stuff in there and it's a cool spot. Sweet! <laughs> Look at how pretty this guy is. A lot of blue in there.